Listen, 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 listen. What's good? Episode nine of the Listen Show. In these next couple of weeks, I'm going to start to focus on one instrument at a time. So this is the first week of that. Um, so the first instrument I want to focus on is guitar. Whether they're prominent in the track or they're in the background accenting things, gu- guitars can turn a track up to 10 easily. I feel like whatever feeling you are trying to convey, the guitar is gonna amplify it. So it's a a great way to really convey or really get your point across. What I'm gonna do for these instrument studies is choose a song and just explain how that instrument is used in that song. So with that being said, the first instance of how a guitar is being used is in brand new by pharrell and in this song the guitar it's an electric electric guitar but it is clean so it doesn't have any distortion and not a lot of effects on it so the the track itself the song itself there's already a a certain bounce to it and then when the guitar comes in it just makes it even more bouncier, even more fun, even more uh, carefree. And that's kind of the vibe of the whole song. Like when the guitar comes in, it really makes you want to dance or bob your head or, or do whatever. And so that's how that's one way a guitar is useful. Um, next in Take a Ride by the Isley Brothers, it's an acoustic guitar that uh, probably just has some regular EQing and compression and whatnot, Um, no distortion. But the acoustic guitar makes it even more smooth. The the chord progression with the minimal drums and the pad giving some body and atmosphere is already making the track smooth. Like it's already a very smooth track, but the guitar pushes it over the top. All the guitar is really doing is outlining chords but another thing to notice about it is the timbre of it um if you've ever played or really even just seen a guitar you should uh, an acoustic guitar notice that there's two kinds of strings there's steel strings which is literally steel wrapped around nylon and then there are actual nylon strings So what steel strings is going to do is give you a little bit more of a warmer, um, more crisp sound to it. And in this song and in a bunch of others, you could with the steel string, you can hear the sound of the guitar player's fingers sliding up and down the fretboard, which gives an which gives it like a, a good texture and atmosphere. In the beginning, the guitar is just outlining chords and staying smooth. And then it builds up to the close to the end when there is a guitar solo. And the solo is the right combo of melody, tapping, um, and guitar screeches, and like all the little effects guitar players can do. That also takes the moment over the top and it creates a climax in the music. And then at the end, the guitar, the electric guitar stays in and I, I'm pretty sure it, uh, it just copies whatever the main melody is doing. Also, like I said, a guitar solo near the end of the song is good for creating a moment, like a perfect climax in the music and really making it like a musical moment. And a lot of songs do it like one example is the Beautiful Ones by Prince, uh, it, it's kind of um, like mundane in the beginning and mellow in the beginning and then at the very end, um, they bring in the heavy guitars and it, it, it makes it a climax and you finish strong and fast. No homo. Um, 
Next song is Studio Love by T-Pain. The, it sounds like in this song, T-Pain is using a VST version of a Spanish guitar, so it's not like an actual player. I know T-Pain is, is, is known to use stock plugins from Logic, so it's probably, it's probably just like a Logic sound. And a thing about using stock plugins is for me, I like extremes, like either a real guitar that's mic'd really well, it sounds really good, or a real cheesy sound or recreation of it. Because I feel like a recreation can give you elements from different instruments, all in the same, all in one sound. So maybe it sounds quote unquote bad, but maybe it sounds like a guitar mixed with a harpsichord and a regular plucked synth. But it gives those characteristics and it can also function like a harpsichord or a synth. I will warn you though, um, sometimes software recreations sound ter terrible and not like cheesy good terrible. So bad that it's good, but like so bad that it's just awful. Um, for me, I don't have one good bass guitar VST. They all sound really bad in my opinion, the ones that I have, and uh, no amount of effects that I put on can save them. So if you have a good one, um, slide some oil to me. Um, next song is Circles by Incubus. In the beginning, the guitars play the bass line and uh, the bass and guitar is fused really well. And in this song, it's mainly, uh, I believe it's all electric guitars with varying amounts of distortion on them. So, but like I said, bass guitar, bass and guitars, a bass guitar and a, a, a elect, electric guitar, they fuse really well. And it's an easy way to get a big sound without too many extra instruments. Um, it's used both in rock and hip hop. I've heard it used like this. And um, also I have, I have used that technique in a track that I might be playing as we speak. And um, the guitars in the track I used weren't real, but they serve a similar purpose to like if a real guitar and bass were, were playing the same thing. Back to the Incubus song though, um, one thing I also noticed was the guitars sound stacked almost, and it could be just multiple guitar players, but it also could be the power chords being played. I did take a guitar class, and uh, I think I might have missed the, the power chord day, which is kind of tough, but uh, I think that any real guitarist will have a good knowledge of um, all the power chords and what power chord to use when. I would say that power, power chords and layering also help to give a full sound. In the Incubus song, it's really just like guitars, bass, and drums. And so um, the guitars can take up a lot of room and really have brain to take up a lot of um, frequency space. Next, quickly in the in a song called "Dig" by Incubus, uh, the guitar is more ornamentary and is more like an arpeggiator and just provides some atmosphere. But that's another good way to use guitars. Lastly, last song, um, "Pride and Prejudice" by Slayer. The guitar goes back and forth between main melody and holding out like. Um, holding out notes on the with the bass. And this is another good example of how the guitar can set the energy. With those long bass notes, almost like pedal tones or droning, it's a good way to add that intensity and that long drawn out note will uh, build tension within, within the track. Also, if you listen to how like the Trans-Siberian Orchestra or like snarky puppy use guitars, I think it will validate what I say even more. Like guitars will add intensity, guitars add to the feeling, guitars can add that special push over the, over the hill, push over the hump. Like 
a certain threshold of, threshold of when a song becomes good or great. To wind down, I would say study bands and guitarists. If you don't listen to rock music or a genre with guitars that are used heavily, uh, go to someone who claims to and uh, claims to listen to like rock or guitarist um, and ask them their favorite bands or their favorite guitarists and start there. I have done this and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but that's kind of like anything. Um, you're kind of at the mercy of their taste. So maybe ask a more detailed question like their favorite songs or favorite album or favorite performance by their favorite bands or guitar players. Also, if you know a guitarist and you like, if you know a guitarist, keep them close. Guitar is one of those instruments where not only does it sound great recorded from a real player, but a good player will elevate the music with their habits and their musical thumbprint. I really do love the guitar and the way it sounds. I feel like <laughs> if I wasn't a drummer, like I definitely choose guitar or bass. Guitar is just one of those instruments that sounds good in the full range. You can do anything with it. Like guitar players are valuable. So keep keep your guitar player close. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's it. End of episode eight, listening list below. And as always, thank you for listening.